The smell of teen spirit nowadays has the whiff of antiseptic about it. So the last time you got really drunk was over a year ago. Yeah. New figures out today confirm our kids behave much better than we did. Why is everybody behaving so well? <laughs> maybe it's because of like, because in like um, previous generations, there tended to be more strict. So maybe now, like parents are less strict, they're a bit more liberal. Our focus group know how much their parents drink and vice versa. They're talking about it to each other and that takes the heat out of rebellion. I don't feel like I have to like drink this much because of I'm not with my mum. It's because like my mum knows I drink, but I can just, you know, feel comfortable with that. You've nothing to prove. Yeah, I, mean, I have nothing to prove to anyone. Today's figures confirm the rise of the new Puritans. 21% of adults are now teetotal, but it's young people leading the charge of the dry brigade. There's a 40% increase in the numbers of young people who don't drink, and the proportion who binge drink has fallen by more than a third since 2005. The law has changed to make it harder for young people to buy alcohol, but that of itself doesn't explain the size of this cultural shift. Yeah! Do you think your generation are better behaved than your teachers were? Uh, <laughs> uh, in a way, I think yes, because we, we are like, we're more likely to know about our limits. Mr. Hess, <laughs> um, throw yourself back. 18, 18, an 18-year-old Mr. Hess. Yeah. How regularly did you used to get drunk? Um, I would, yeah, once or, once or twice a month, I suppose. It was never, oh. never a week. Thanks, thanks, guys. Yeah. Why, um, why are, why is this generation so much better behaved than your generation? I, I don't. I think there's a lot more pressure on these on these these kids than there were at, at our age um, when we were younger. Sorry, and I think pressure they, in terms of pressure in terms of work, pressure in terms of society to 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 to, to achieve to perform, they know what it's going to take to get them to where they want to go. In other words, it's harder to find scarce work with a hangover. I could go out and spend £10 and feel horrible tomorrow and get no work done at all and ruin my entire weekend, or I could go to bed at 11, wake up early, save money, be able to do work and still have a nice But that, that is an amazingly mature perspective. I mean, <laughs> you know, well, it's just, I'm not sure how exciting your parties are. Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I just think the that less it's... we drink, the, more, the better they are because the more you look forward to them. Sociologists are scratching their heads on this. Teen pregnancies are also down, as is smoking and drug use. Nobody really knows why. Perhaps they're just trying to make us look bad. <laughs>